ghost town loop for Halloween? <laughs> yeah. Arr Hi, I'm Randy. I make apps for phones, tablets, and desktops. And I love my Jeep. On the weekends, I want adventure. So come with me and let's shift into sunshine. So getting to the ghost town took some time. Did have to drive on the freeway, and once I got down to Patagonia, it was a cute little town. On the trip, the first stop is Harshaw Town Site. It was founded by David Tecumseh Harshaw in the 1870s for the purpose of silver. When I got there, I saw the sign immediately and turned in, but it turns out that it's now private land and there's a gate that says no trespassing. I got a funny feeling about that, so I backed up and left. I went across the street to the Harshaw Cemetery. By the looks of it, the locals have been maintaining the grave sites and decorating them with flowers. How did they die? The sun comes through the trees and reflects off the peaceful little creek running right past the cemetery. Our next stop on the forest road was Duquesne Township. Duquesne Township was founded in 1880 and lasted until the 1920s. It was founded by Duquesne Mining and Production Company. Now, it's only abandoned houses and foundations left over from, from the buildings. I got that creepy feeling again. Have you ever had the feeling that you're being followed by a low budget ghost? Stop for a moment and take a look alongside the forest road. The views are incredible. It might be the best thing about Ghost Town. The Marcos Denisa Monument is pretty impressive. It doesn't say when it was erected, but it says that Marcos Denisa made it there in 1539. Our next stop was the small town of Lochio. The only thing that remains of Lochil is a small schoolhouse maintained by locals that sits on private property, so again, you can only see it from the road. The natural beauty of the desert backdrop of Ghost Town Loop is fantastic, and it's the real reason you should go. When you do finally hit the Santa Cruz River, you're about at the halfway point, and from that point forward, it's only grasslands and long stretches of, of desert road, so you can speed up a bit. Right after the Santa Cruz River, there's some incredible landscape that you won't forget. But I started to get that creepy feeling again, like I was being followed by a So I stepped on the gas until I got back to the canyon. As soon as I hit the first grove of trees, I got that sinking feeling that something was going on. 